Hi everybody, and welcome back to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We are on session 23 tonight. Yay! Uh, some announcements before we begin, though. I'm going to do this real quick, because we are about 14 minutes late. Um, I said I was going to do it quick, and I forgot. <laughs> we have a podcast up on iTunes, Apple Music, and Spotify. Or Apple Podcasts, iTunes, and Spotify. Just search up Beneath the Tide, you can watch the first five episodes of our pirate campaign, and then get ready when we start doing uh, uh, Demystifying DMing as a podcast now with DM interviews. We're going to start interviewing DMs from other D&D stuff and talk to them. It's going to be a lot of cool fun. Uh, I don't know when that's going to start, but it should be soon. Um, we also are doing an Extra Life stream November 3rd, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. That is a Sunday. So if you want to take part in that, just let me know when the details come out, and you can be a part of a 12-hour D&D stream. If I don't get enough sign-ups, though, I might just do a 12-hour one-shot with lots of breaks in between. So, yeah. November 3rd. Um, also, this Sunday, there will not be a Soldiers of the Lich Queen episode, um... Because Sam is unfortunately away for personal things, and I'm also out of town anyway. So, no Soldiers of the Lich Queen last week, no Soldiers of the Lich Queen this week. We'll be back, hopefully, next Sunday. With that, um, <laughs> and that's really it for announcements, basically, because don't have much to announce, but... Last time on Dungeons of the Mad Mage, you guys got to, well, you did some exploring in the Twisted Caverns, um, eventually came across the, 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 the dreaders you guys were looking for to kill, and found that they had already been killed earlier by the demon that uh, Melody had summoned. So you gathered some of the limbs, looked at an arch gate, went through the arch gate. Well, Willie went through the arch gate, but you guys did not see. Decided not to proceed through said arch gate for reasons unknown. You progress further into the twisted caverns, eventually encountering an abolith named Elune. Well, at least a apparition of an abolith who told you guys to basically either proceed through the Twisted Caverns and die, or leave the Twisted Caverns and he would not basically harm you or chase after you. You guys gathered a drow raft and proceeded down the river, going over a waterfall. And unfortunately, as you went over the waterfall, the weight of Ogden at the front of the waterfall didn't balance out too well with the rest of the people as there are also two very small people on the raft as well, Menchu and Riley, and you all fell off the raft, and the raft shattered on the rocks below. And you all wound up on the banks of a large forest inside Undermountain known as the Willow Wood. After proceeding through the Willow Wood without much incident, you came across a grave and decided, nah, we'll pass that. And you came across a den, a cave inside the forest, in which you were beset by two strange flapping stingrays with weird faces called cloakers. And the cloakers attacked, did some fun stuff, and they ensnared Ogin around his face. And eventually, once the cloakers were dead, Ogin had gone berserk with his new magical berserker great axe and started to attack the party. The party started fleeing, and Riley cast Hold Person on Ogin preventing him from chasing down the party and slaughtering them as they all made their way out of the cave while Ogden just stands there paralyzed. And that's what we're going to pick up for tonight. Menchu, Riley, and Melody running ahead as Ogden is back paralyzed, unable to move. And you're muted, buddy. Yes, we have to get outside of 60 feet. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Uh, ah. actually, actually, once Augen is incapacitated, he's fine. Yeah, because it's only like one round of... And paralyzing him incapacitates him. 
All right, so that... and, I, and he can't talk, so I'm not really talking right now. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Woohoo. I, I got him held. Do you think he's good now? I don't know. I'm not used to this, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. You guys look up. You guys look up the cave, and he's just he's just kind of standing there, just like slack jaw drooling a little bit. Uh, we could like go a bit farther away, and I could drop it. Yeah, well, if you guys get about as far away as me, I think we'll be fine. Also, word of note: that moaning you guys heard in this cave is still present. Oh. Oh yay! It's a good sign. <laughs> oh, you said okay. that the uh, cloakers were moaning as well. Uh, so is it just a different kind of moan, or is it the same? Same moan. Oh, more cloakers. Okay. Or maybe not. But you said it was the same. I know. Okay. All right. Cool. Mimicry. All right. I think we're good. Okay. I, um, yeah, I'll go to, yeah, I'm already where they are. Okay. Then I'll drop it. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, guys. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. You okay. are a, <clears throat> I'm a terrifying sight to behold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that was also, something. Also, I yep. forgot to mention the forest is very autumn like. Oh, that's nice. Like falling leaves. Yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch. On the ground. Shout out to Billy Talon. But there's still a lot of leaves in the trees, right? There's not like. Yeah, they're autumn leaves, like okay. oranges and browns. And, okay. No, no one got my Billy Talon reference. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, before we go any deeper, perhaps uh, a short rest is in order. Perhaps I can might be able to find some herbal remedies. You muted again? No, I'm not. No. Hello. I can't hear you. I can hear him. Oh, it's my headset. Weird. Sorry. Uh. Anyway. Perhaps a short rest is in order. Might need some herbal remedies. Uh, perhaps I can get some from some of this stuff around here. Uh, heal up a bit. What do you all think about that before we go any further in this okay. cave? Or... Yeah, I, I would definitely like to take a little bit of a break. All Appreciate right. That. I'm definitely bloodied. Yeah, you look like you've seen better days. We should probably rest. Are we are we going outside then? To uh, I'll, I'll I would like to see what uh, types of flora I can find that might be of use. Oh, okay, so we're gonna rest while you do that. Yeah, I won't go. Okay. I won't be far. All right, let us know if you need us. Uh, I mean, I would like you to be within. I uh yeah okay we can hang out around here. All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. And Melody will kind of won't go any further than about like here, but just kind of goes in a a uh, what is this? 10, 20, 30, 40. If you uh, use the ruler tool, it'll tell you how far you foot, are. Yeah, 50 foot radius. Okay. Uh, of from Riley. And just kind of go around and see what he can see. All right. If there's any, if there's any like interesting herbs in the area that he is either familiar with or has never seen before or, you know, anything that might catch his eye. Give me a survival check. Yeah. Survival. Um I believe um it if it's all right um nature uh 
is the ability to call more about terrain, plants, animals, and weather. I guess. No, no I think, yeah, yeah, you might be right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. That is 16. 16. Yeah. Uh, you see lots of berries growing about. You do see animal tracks, mm -hmm. but they're mostly deer, elk, the occasional bear. Ooh. Um, and larger tracks that you don't really know what they are. Very circular. And they kind mm -hmm. of have like little protrusions coming out, like ensnaring out from the small circles. Uh, but yeah, lots of berries, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe we'll yeah. go ahead and try and harvest what he can with that. See what uh, see what looks good there. All right. So you start picking some berries and some pine. You can pick pine cones up. There's pine cones, berries, twigs. Yeah, sure. Pretty much a he. This all seems kind of out of the ordinary and possibly magic anyway, since we're in the middle of a dungeon and somehow this stuff is flourishing. Okay. Uh, so he's kind of interested in pro probably trying all of it. Okay. Um, but the stuff that looks the most uh, kind of. Uh, uh, helpful when it comes to like health, healing, and like perhaps uh, stuff associated with antitoxin. Okay. Um, you know, try to grab that if there is anything. You know, I don't know. Most of it is just edible berries and twigs cool. and pine cones. Nothing really magical screaming out at you. All right. But uh, as you are foraging, there's a <laughs> like tremors. <laughs> north, south, east, west. Uh, from the south. South. And you watch. Yeah. <laughs> as peeking out through the trees, one of the trees is moving like it's walking. Be weird. <laughs> And then another one is walking. Um, Melody is going to try and start doing a ritual, comprehend languages. And it's just oh. coming up. And they see your party resting. And they just literally look down at you all. And what language do they speak? Nobody will just wave. One language, cool. And they speak in common. Oh. in the willow wood. Hello. <laughs> oh, we're just walking by. Really. Just passing through. We saw the signs. So we are trying to be as passive. As possible. I'm not trying to leave too many marks here. It's a really pretty place. You're welcome. Are you looking to leave? Are we? Find safer passage out. Um. Uh. That yeah, would be maybe. it. We would definitely appreciate knowing what option that is. Um, though we are, I mean, I am in search of uh, any uh, knowledge and artifacts that uh, this area might hold as well. So we might be we might be rooting around a little bit, but uh, we definitely don't want to upset uh, your guys' environment. That. It's good to hear, Horum. You can talk to our creator, Willow. Uh, this, oh, that sounds interesting. This is her wood. Maybe she'd have some some magical 
stuff that you could look in, into, Melody? Yeah, I'd be interested in uh, any person that happened to uh, bring life to such creatures as yourselves. She is good. She sounds lovely. What? Yeah, we'd All like right. to meet her. Oh. Yeah, we wouldn't mind meeting her. Okay. You all gain the benefits of short rest? I, I, um, I marked a short rest, should I? Um, I'm assuming that was the right thing to do. I, have we finished a short rest by now? Yeah, they don't take long. Oh, okay, all right. Just probably about half an hour, Melody, just gathering stuff. Okay. And uh, the trees start walking to the south in their big lumbering wake. Lumbering, haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Are they very fast? No. Okay. They're just like. <laughs> like, they move fairly slow. Like, they move relatively slowly. Just. <laughs> And at each step, it's just like a thunderous, like, tremor, just... And they, they just, they keep moving. So what kind of, what kind of creatures do you, do you have in this woods? All kinds. Mm-hmm. I saw, I saw some bear tracks back there. Oh, wow. We yeah. have the occasional bear. Oh, hopefully we don't run into any of those or anything nastier than that. Treat the Sorry. ecosystem nicely and it will treat you nicely back. Well, that's good. I mean, nice bears are, are fine. And just then the ones that attack you that aren't. So just so you guys know, <laughs> this right here is not ground level. These squares, these big gray ones, not ground level. Those are about 30 feet up. About the piles in between them, can we get across there? Yeah, you can just crawl across those. Broken walls? Is, oh, uh, more like broken walkways. Mm, okay. Over Hogan's, here. Hogan's kind of hanging back because he's carrying a big axe and thinks they might not like that too much. Okay. okay. <laughs> and as you guys approach this huge tower, you see 13... Thirteen bats, kind of, the tower, let me describe the tower for you guys before, because descriptions are good. So, the, t the tor you guys are moving through this, f oh yeah, never mind, hold on. So, you guys see a giant squat stone tree with twisted stony boughs protruding from the walls. Thirteen giant bats hang from these crumbling limb-like ornaments, their wings wrapped tightly around their bodies. At the base of the tower, on the south side, is a 12-foot high arch double door made of carved stone. And the trees basically escort you to this location. Sorry, the bats, are, are they real or are they like statues? No, they're real. 13 they're real. giant bats are hanging up on the boughs of the tree, sleeping. Oh. All right, remember, guys, if, uh, if any of these natural uh, beasts should uh, fall upon us, we we should probably just run. They will not harm you unless you are hostile to All them. Alright. Right. The wow, this is such a nice place. And the trees just... They, they, one of them gestures towards the door, and beside the door you see a rope hanging next to the door with a bell on it. And the two trees just wander off back into the forest on their patrol. This Bye. is her tower, and they just. You gone. fellas have names? Oh. No, oh. we do not. All right. And then they just wander off into the into the deeper parts of the forest. We should give those guys names. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we should. Ooh. Um. I don't know. I can't think of anything. <laughs> Tim. Tim, okay. Burr, that right? Burr, I yeah. like Burr. <laughs> oh, Tim, Tim Burr. Tim, Tim and Burr, yeah. Tim and Burr. Yeah. All right. All right, perfect. So, there's this yeah. tower. Um, it is very tall. That's um, this, where, where's the tower? It's 
This wood thing right here? Yeah, and the front doors are right here. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, should we go in? Um, yeah, so the giant bats hang from the crumbling, hang from these crumbling limb-like ornaments. Yeah, I, uh... There's all sleeping. I don't know if we, uh... If we're looking at this pull, this pulley thing for, like, pulling the bell, mm -hmm. does it go up to where those bats are? No. Okay, so if we pull this, we're not going to, like, wake them up? Most likely not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just look like too many things lining up with, like, what happened with in Straw <laughs> yeah. a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, all right. Melody will lightly pull the what he believes to be a bell. Doorbell. Dong. Dong. And the door opens. And standing before you is another one of those trees. Not as big. But uh, the trunk is carved into the likeness of... Halister Black Cloak, the Mad Mage. Oh. Very crazy, wild hair, beard, and he goes, "Oh, hello, everyone. Um, what is what do I? What is the purpose of your visit to the to Willow's Tower?" Uh, well, we met some of your your guardians, and uh, they asked if we wanted to know a safe way through this uh, this area and though we are looking for other stuff with on within this area we felt it would be a good option to know the best way out wonderful wonderful yes yes come on in everyone I shall show you to my leader and I will take all your tokens and remove them from this part Boop. <gasps> Bye. Is there like a map for the interior? Oh yeah, there is. Oh nice. Bottom left corner of the page, you will see it momentarily. Okay. I will zoom out so I see it better. I want to go down. So yeah, if you guys go to the bottom left corner of the page, oop. Mm. Is that supposed to be up? Oh, there it is. Inside is the door, and the tree guy is actually, like, taking up a lot of space. He's just like... <laughs> follow. Follow me, everyone, and I shall take you to my leader. To my creator. And he... And goes through the other set of double doors. Is your creator a tree person too? No. Oh. <laughs> and you are oh. led into what appears to be a throne room. Detroit, dead leaves and twigs cover the dusty floor. The room has a vaulted ceiling 20 feet high. Stone pillars carved to look like trees support a 10-foot high stone balcony that runs along the north, east, and south walls. The tree's stone branches serve as the balcony's railings. And you see, sitting in a crystal throne, in a throne of yellow crystal meditating, is a elf woman. And I can describe you a her a little bit better. Sitting beside her is a strange looking dog like creature. Um, and it looks like. Ba -ba -ba. So, the creature that is sitting beside her, just kind of like staring at you, is large. It's about 10 feet long, and it's sitting right by the throne. It's got black skin, very dog like. However, it has six legs. And th th two tentacles coming out of its shoulders and a long, winding tail. Um, 
based on all of your levels, everybody give me a history check. Or actually, nature or survival, your choice. Aha! I got a 23. I do this, but I... Oh. Nice. There you go. Alright, Melody. M Melody. Melody got a natural one. Okay. Oh. Riley got a 23. August. 23. A 8. Menchu. A 24. Riley and Menchu would know this creature to be a displacer beast. Ooh. Willow, however, is a moon elf. Her eyes are green as emeralds. Butterflies nest in her tangled black hair, and small critters gather around her feet. Um, yeah. And she just looks like a beautiful half-elf, or a beautiful elf woman. Um, yeah, and she just sits here and on her crisp, yellow crystal throne. The throne has eyes carved into it, and she wears a gold key on a string around her neck. What's... How can I honor your presence here, friends? Well, we were just passing through, and and uh, oh, your yeah. friends said that uh, you might be able to show us a way to get out, um, to move on safely. I can... I can aid you in this. Where are you headed exactly? Well, we're not really sure yet, I, I don't think. What were you thinking, Melody? Well, we did start to investigate the caves up north. Uh, that got rough very quick. Um, so we just kind of pulled back for a moment to catch our breath. Uh... <laughs> And some of your guardians came by and uh, asked us if we wanted to, you know, know the know a good way out of here. Well, uh, by the way, I, sh I I really must say, you've made this dungeon a beautiful place. I that is this not is indeed yeah. your work. That is as not of my doing. It's oh really? Did so did you f find this place? It's a long story. Hmm, and, I, and I don't know you well enough to share it. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. That is know. fine. That is fine. I assume since you've all, you are all in here, you know that you are indeed still in Under Mountain. Yeah, we had that uh, that in mind. Yeah. Well. If you wish to leave, I know the locations of several arch gates that you can teleport through to get out, and how to activate them, as well as passages leading down to level 6 and level 7, the Lost, and into Madgoth's Castle. That all sounds like really useful information. Did you kill any of the cloakers? Yeah, we got two of them. Two of them. Wonderful. Well, if you go south from here a little bit, keep hugging the wall outside. You'll see it. It's not hard. It's easy to. It's not hard to miss. You will find the next level. And if you go to the east, well, you'll find a way down to the seventh level. What of the uh, caverns up north? Do you know what's going on in there? Just had the cloakers live in there. Not much else to it. Are, are the cloakers? Um, are they under? I don't. I don't know what the hierarchy of this part of the dungeon is. But are are they part part of your group or no? Okay. Good. I was worried maybe we had done something wrong. I'm glad to hear we didn't. I only care for the beasts here. 
the bears, the elk, the spider. Okay, wonderful. Then we won't touch any of those, for sure. Yes. Speaking uh, of which... I do warn you that you should probably steer clear of the goblin werebats that dwell <coughs> within these halls. They're a little further south from here. You, if the southeast, if you keep wandering south, you'll eventually run into them. Also, I do advise you. There is a there is a green dragon here who sleeps on top of a battlement to the east. I advise you show the dragon the respect it deserves. If you encounter it. Yep. Dragon, huh? Yeah. Tirulai is the dragon's name. Tirulai. He. I probably am gonna misspell that. And is there anything else I can do for you all? Well, my friend here was interested in. Magic. I don't know if you would know anything about where we could find any kind of magical artifacts or anything. <laughs> that could be. I know lots about magic, my dear. Well, I think Melody probably knows more than me for about what he's looking for. So, <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh oh, scrolls. Uh, anything to augment. Magical abilities, uh, books. I like books, but I mean, as you can probably tell from some of my more casual attire, uh, I do, there is a dichotomy within myself, uh, towards really taking in the natural splendor of, uh, nature. So, uh, there, I do have some respect in that regard. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, I'm not just going to hand away magical artifacts. Again, I don't know you all that well. And again... I don't... I have an issue. I have issues trusting people. Um, oh. Well, if there's a... If you have any tasks that might need uh, done, perhaps we can do them for you. Well, you already... From what you say, you already killed some of the cloakers, so that is a huge service to me in my forest. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Would you like it if we wiped them all out? No, that's fine. All right. So, do you intend to leave right away, or? No, I'm, uh, if, if you would allow or permit, uh, I would like to, you know, ha have a look around for a while, um, kind of see what, see what we can root around and find, uh, within this uh, level of the dungeon. All right. We don't want to go anywhere where we don't want to go anywhere where you're, uh, you would not like us to be permitted. Just to clarify. Feel so if there are, if there are places that uh, you would say are off limits, uh, we would avoid those. Well, off limits would be the rest of my tower. Y'all all right? All right. Unless I'm with you or I give you permission. As for that, feel free to explore the wood at your own peril. All right. All right. I do have some yeah. rules, though, if you are oh, yes. wandering through my wood. Of course. Excellent. They're pretty simple rules. You 
You are free to pick berries, gather brown and branches, collect acorns, pine cones. You may rest where you please on logs that have been felled. However, if you chop down any trees, start any fires, kill any animal, or any similar act of destruction, I will know about it, and I will swiftly eradicate those who destroy any part of this forest. Okay. Falcon steps forward a little. Are we allowed to defend ourselves if we are attacked? Yes. But I will know, but I will know who throws the first strike. Oh, good nods. I'll avoid using any of my more uh, destructive uh, spells. That would be ideal. Can I pick flowers? Yes. Oh, cool. Well, that sounds like perfectly reasonable rules to me. Yeah. Unless you have more. No, that's it. Wonderful. Well, it's been lovely uh, making your acquaintance. Uh, I suppose we must be off. I suppose you must. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Speaking of which, my apologies. Should you choose to... Well... move through those arch gates that I mentioned I can teach you how to do so oh yeah that would be uh, that would be spectacular uh, by the way I, I feel like I neglected uh, my manners here my name is Melody I know oh yeah oh, oh I guess you've been watching us huh yes okay well, that's good to know. Any so these yes. oh yeah, so so these uh so these doorways. Should you find one that has the image of trees carved into it, all you need to do is touch the art of the dead twig or branch to open it. The art, art of the dead. Arch. Yeah, we can just take a take arch. a twig. Yes, you touch a dead twig or branch to, to that to dead. that to the arch that I described, and it will activate. All right, all right. The next one. There is an image of an old man clutching a staff. All you need to do for that one is touch the arch three times with a staff of any kind to open it. Perfect. The final arch is engraved with images of dancing dwarves. All you need to do is imitate the moves of the dancing dwarves to open it. You need to dance for one minute. That sounds like fun. And that is it. Thank you very much. It's really helpful. Yeah, you've been very helpful. Yes. Uh, I never, I mean, um, pardon me if you're just not willing to share, but I never got your name. Willow. Right. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. Does your dog have a name or your uh, displacer beast? My dog? Sorry, I my your displacer beast is what I meant. Hmm. This is Chrisen. Chrisen. That's a good name. Yes. He's very cute, he or she. I'm not sure. Tis a he. She's, she's very cute. I said he. Oh, sorry. I thought you said she. <laughs> 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna bounce while we're ahead um thanks again we very much appreciate it yes palace tree make sure they leave and don't snoop we don't want to have a repeat of what the last adventurers tried doing last group tried to scale my tower and break in it wasn't great but, it did not end well for them yeah, we are definitely not going to do that yeah i don't know why why they would no, yeah, like a really bad idea the bats just picked them off the tower right i mean we saw them coming in so mm -hmm. we're like we should avoid those we are a cautious group mm -hmm. and cautious and respectful group thank you again <laughs> yes <laughs> Good day. Bye. And to you as well. And she goes and, back to meditating. Yeah, and Melody is getting the F out. <laughs> <laughs> and the big tree just poof, poof, to ensure you guys are indeed leaving. She seemed really nice. She was uh, quite agreeable. Uh, much appreciated. For, and poof, you guys especially will be with us. Uh, you guys will be back in front of the building. All right. Well, what do you what do you fellas think? Beeline it, get to the next uh, next level to the south, or uh, see if we can't clear out the rest of that. Uh, cloaker den or we could go south and east meet up with that dragon perhaps talk to it not really uh you gotta walk a fine line in that regard so i'd i've been nervous about that one well i i don't speak draconic or anything um you, you have a way of speaking to it i'm assuming uh, I have a way of understanding what things are saying, like, but, uh, like, uh, I have this spell called Comprehend Languages, but that just means I understand the literal meaning of what they're saying. Right. But I can't speak back. Wouldn't okay, gotcha. So common? I've never, I don't think I've ever met a dragon before. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've only read. I know that they are to be feared and respected. Um, so. I'm not sure if it's um, the, the sort of dragon that would like us talking to it. I, I'm a little worried that if it, you know, if it attacks us or something. Yeah, the would would uh, Melody know the difference between metallic and chromatic dragons? Oh yes. Um. The chromatic type, she said green dragon, so I'm inclined to think that it is indeed a, one of the chromatic dragons. They tend to be more, uh, feral, not, well, feral is a wrong word for it, but, uh, tend to be Unpredictable? More, yeah. But, well, vicious um okay the uh i know the metallics are more inclined to get along better with uh other humanoids right whereas uh the chromatics are more inclined towards uh subjugation okay So if we did go that way, we'd have to be really careful because I, I don't want to do anything that might upset Willow. Yeah, yeah. Nope. I mean, if we definitely do not want to get on her bad side, probably one of the, quote, safest things to do would be to go uh, kill off, go to the north back to, to that cave and kill those cloakers she didn't, she didn't seem to have any problems with us uh, exploring that at all but everything else seemed like it would be uh dangerous for us to poke around yeah um 
We could we could do that for sure. If you, if that's what you think is the best option, or we could well, move I'm on. I'm not saying I'm not saying best. I'm just saying like if we want to avoid uh, perhaps drawing the potential wrath of the entire place. Right. Um, I'm I'm fine with that if that's what everyone else wants to do. I'm following. <laughs> Manchu, how you doing, buddy? And this, this, my sword belongs to you. Go ahead. Did, did everybody get a good rest in? I'm, I'm feeling okay. All right. Uh, well, I would like to go back up to that cave and see what we can find. If nothing else, uh, we can uh, we can scavenge a bit more, uh, get some supplies off of the land, so that because uh, I noticed we're kind of running low on some food, might as well take advantage of this natural she, splendor. She did say we could uh, take some berries, so yeah, yeah, scavenger while we while we walk. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody up for that? All right. Let's yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So you guys are making your way back to the cloaker den. We really it's should have a. Uh, okay, yeah. Just uh. Yes. Yeah, if you scroll up, yeah, it will be there. Um. I got gotcha. I'm gonna send Cobb out just a little bit ahead of us to look for any creatures that might be wandering around, but not not too far. Ooh, there is a little area over here, isn't there? I forgot to ask her about the gravesite. Hmm. Mm. Oh, looks like there's a path over here. Wait, are we lost? <laughs> Wait, oh, did we take the wrong turn? <laughs> I, like I think we may have though. taken the wrong turn. <laughs> hmm. we, should we go the other way? I don't know. I see all these other little things and I'm... Now I'm you're curious? The, now I'm curious. <laughs> did she say right anything about before. this path? I don't... I, I, don't, I don't think, think so. so. We could hmm. check it out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Might as well. Yeah. By the way, what's the uh, lighting situation as we go through this part? Is it starting to get darker at all? No. Okay, cool. Oh, looks like a cave or something, an arch. Oh, no, is that one of the arches? No. Oh. End. Is that yeah, is that just a dead end? It appears like a dead end, solid wall. Okay. Melody will take one of the twigs he's got, poke it. The twig goes through the wall. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh well, look <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is what you see, Melody. What do we have here? Another so another solid wall up ahead. I'm putting Cobb away, by the way. Okay. She's gone. What is this? Based on the map, what what is what what is that kind of puffy? It's like a solid crystal wall. Ooh, cool. Mm. Is it the same crystal that was making up the throne of no. Willow? No, no, okay. 
This is more uh, like white. Right. This is more like white sort of. Uh, yeah, white. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Hmm. I wonder if we took some of the crystal. If that would be bad. Well, yeah, let's have a look at it first. What do we got here? Because it doesn't grow or like, anything. Poke it. Your finger goes through. Oh. Oh. All right. Neat. More invisible stuff. And it is dark in here. No. Oh. But you can still see. But it is dark. Are we like in a crystal? Oh no, we're in a room. The walls of this 60 foot high cavern are covered with naturally formed crystal draperies that resemble frozen waterfalls. Uh, and you guys all just hear ominous moaning. Just. <laughs> All right. Do I need to bring out my drift globe, or is it still we can see? Yeah, that would be. I think that'd probably be a good idea. All right. It's out. Light and float five feet. Okay. <laughs> and then you hear. <laughs> and. You watch as as something cr flies out of the ceiling, okay, and it it's not a bat. It is one of those cloaker things you saw, but this time. <sighs> It's three of them flying down. Oh boy. And They're the, ex the exact same as the ones we saw, or are they like a different type? No, these are the exact same. Exact same, okay. They look exactly the same as the other ones. And then a fourth one descends. Oh, freak. I have um, to roll initiative. How high are the walls? 60 feet. Okay. Six zero? Six zero. I forget. What, uh... What's, what's Riley do? What's her thing? What do you mean? What, uh... I, I, like, what class is she? Oh, she's a... She's a warlock. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, roll these guys in a shift. Excellent. These things are flying, right? Correct. Mm. They are about, yeah, they're about 40 feet up. They came down 20 feet. Do, do, do. All right, Melody, initiative. Uh, two plus two, fifteen. Hagen. Twenty-one. Menchu. Twenty-four. Riley. Eight. All right, Menchu. You're up. Have they seen this yet? Oh, yeah. Gotta remember to try and keep your distance. These guys, if we, and if we attack any of them, we gotta attack attack one and focus them down. Because uh, once they start grabbing onto us, uh, it starts to get go downhill real quick. Okay, Step forward and I'm going to loose on the closest one. Okay. That's good. Um, 
16. That hits, and as the crossbow hits into that one, it just fades. Disappears. Oh. Some shenanigans are going on. Keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna freak out a little bit. And <laughs> next floor is this one. Okay, make an attack roll. Seventeen. That hits, and that one also gone. Uh oh. Yeah, bonus action do it again, right? <laughs> Pow! <laughs> Seventeen. Just hit it really hard. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Third, third shot. I, I'm feeling like a baddie here, so. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> so cool. Crossbow jams. <laughs> oh no. You keep you keep the bolt, but it doesn't fire. Oh, and Justin, during the short rest that we had earlier, would Menchu have been able to scavenge his bolts? Not all of them, but yeah. Probably got it back about 12 or so. Anything else, Menchu? Uh, let's see. Okay. Did you say I got back 12? Yeah. When when I was playing your character, I shot a lot. <laughs> Ogden. Well, Ogden's going to put up his battle axe, take up his crossbow, heavy crossbow, but he has to shoot at disadvantage. Because yes, because of, of the axe. So uh, the one on the left. Sure. Um, uh, nine to hit. <laughs> Off one of the crystal waterfalls. And then a second shot at the same one. Oh, that's better. Uh, 18 to hit. Oh, 19, sorry. It just disappears. Uh-oh. Are we killing them or are they going invisible? He's starting to freak out. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll hit this last one and call it good. <coughs> That's it. That's all I got. Can all right. Me? Melody. Melody's going to move to about there. And how far away is that thing? So it's it's 40 feet up in the air. And it is... How far away is it from you? Use the ruler tool. 70, 70. It's 70 feet away and it's 40 feet up. So 100 feet up. Right? Uh, crud, that is... 110, 110, 110 feet away. Fuck. Alright. I need to somehow get within 60 feet of it. But that means I need to move 60 feet. Right? Or 50 feet. To take an action. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Well, Melody is just gonna hold a ray of frost in case, uh, something evil pops out or that guy gets within range. Okay. Cool. Riley. He's going to hold, he's going to hold a ray of frost. Um, All right. Uh, let's see. They were pretty far away from you. Oh yeah. Cause they're up too. So yeah, they were 110 feet away. Shit. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, my Eldritch Blast. Oh, I am. My Eldritch Blast is 120. So I will do that on the one that's left. All right, making it make an attack roll. And yeah, that's a natural one. You can attack again. Um. Oh right, because there's two. Uh, that is a, a math fifteen. That hits roll damage. Okay. 
Roll damage. First time I heard that in this fight. Sorry, my D10 is missing. I'll do it on the... That's plus five, which is 11. 11 points of damage. Cool. Wow. That's good. That was only hey. one of them hitting? That's nice. <laughs> yeah. It hits it, and it... Doesn't disappear? Turns its attention right at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anything else? Bonus action? I, I don't I think that's good. Okay. I think it's fine. Alrighty. Sweet. Uh, Alright, it's gonna move 40 feet. 10, 20. Oh, I made the token really big. Ooh. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> Scary. Scary. <laughs> so it gets to about yeah. here. It's still up in the air. Oh, yeah. Still 40 feet up. I only moved, oh, I only moved 30, apparently. Yeah, it was only 30. 40. There you go. So it's 40 feet up. That gets it. That gets it within range, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Hold on. For Ray of Frost? Okay. Uh. 30 feet away from you and 20 feet up, so it's 70 feet away. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 30 right, plus, 30 plus, oh, it's 40 feet up, so 30 plus 40, 70 feet away from Melody. All right, yeah, know them. It's down in range of anybody. Oh, yeah. So it's going to end its turn right there. Oh, boy. Menchu. I saw this one didn't get hurt, so I'm going to add sharp shooter on this one. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's get it goes back up to 16. That hits, roll damage. But then you get to add 10 because of sharp shooter. I believe. Five plus six is eleven plus ten. Twenty-one. 21. So yeah, the crossbow slams into one of its wings and it just goes. Nice. And a little bit of it again. Uh, sharp here as well. Same thing. <laughs> nice. Roll damage. Uh, is, uh, 19. 19 points of damage. Another crossbow bolt slammed into its fleshy body. And now uh, I'm going to attempt to hide behind all of them. Sure, give me a stealth check. Oh, you're using your bonus action? <laughs> 17. Cool. You hide behind Ogden. Which means it's Ogden's turn. Yeah, heavy crossbow at disadvantage. <laughs> Good love. Roll 219s plus 5, 24. That hits, roll damage. Nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Another crossbow bolt <laughs> slams into it. Crossbow bolts. That hits. Roll damage. Do ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Nice. Oh, nice. This one's not looking great. It's kind of flapping a little weakly. But uh, anything else, Ogden? No. Okay. Melody. Oh boy. Um. So weird. This is kind of weird. Don't know what to do about this one. Um. So yeah, he's still where he's at before. 
so Melody can't hit him unless yeah, 70, he it's 70 feet away. Closer. Yeah. It's having trouble keeping a float, or flying, its wings are like, it's flapping. It looks like it's using a lot of strength to fly, to keep there. So if I move five feet to the left, stand right next to Riley, that makes me about 25-ish feet away from it. What? And how high oh, is it up? Well, you're still, Riley's 30 feet away from it. So if you move... Oh, to sorry, I guess I'm... I, I'm trying to figure out like why is your uh, why, why is yours doing that? Like the point stuff. Well I was uh, I'm I was doing it using alt to go oh. directly from my token. You don't need to do that. Just do it go from the space you're in. Okay. Yeah. Because there's ten foot squares. Well I mean like yeah, but it goes right in the middle of that ten foot square. That's I know, but it's still awesome. it's still accurate. Yeah. Anyway. There we go. So it's 70 feet away. Oh. Even on Riley's space, it'd be 70 feet away. Because it's still 70 feet away from her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gets away. Uh, yeah. He's... Uh, yeah, he's, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> He's just gonna hold, hold the, uh, hold the thing, hold his, uh, his frost. Okay. Ray of frost for when it gets closer. All right, Riley. I'm going to do um my um my eldritch blast again. Mm -hmm. Both on that one. Ooh, that is a, a twenty something high. Uh, nineteen plus eight, seven, uh, tw twenty seven. Roll damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? I think that's nine. Yeah, nine. As the Eldritch Blast slams into its weak stomach, the stomach bursts open and its contents just spill out onto the floor as it falls to the ground dead. It had eight hit points. Oh! Nice. Oh, I got it! Well nice. done. Well done, nice. everyone. Nice. Pretty well. Did you see me? Did you see me do the, the thing? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys might not have realized it, but I, I, I helped out quite a lot. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without you, Melody? That's right. That's right. I had a lot of stuff going on. I could have, I could have done a lot of stuff if things went haywire pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. I think this was a real team effort. And Menchie, you can gather like. Yeah, well. Great. Menchie, you can gather like five cross whatever you can f gather all your crossbow bolts from its body and Ogden, you can gather two crossbow bolts from its body. Where is all it? Alright. What else have we got in this cavern? Shit all. You can't see shit. Just crystals. Just crystal waterfalls. Of solid crystal. Other than that, you don't see anything. Going along the edge. You guys probably think Melody looks really weird doing what he's doing, but he's doing it. What is what is he doing? He's he's going along the edge of this thing. Oh. I'll just follow behind. He seems like he knows what he's doing. Just to protect him. Yeah. Mm, no one knows if he's really protecting him, but he's sticking with him because he thinks he might be protecting him. What's up, Jeremy? I'm checking the contents of the stomach that was expelled. <laughs> you see the head of a half-eaten... You see the half-digested head of a copper dragonborn. Hogan has uh, stored his crossbow and has his axe in hand again. He likes to keep his axe in hand. You guys are looking around these crystal walls, and again, nothing. Nothing of value, nothing of intrigue. Mm. Do we hear any more of the moaning? No. Not at all. All right. And I suppose around here... 
This looks like a an arch a pathway. Yes, yeah, an All arch right. that leads back to. Oh, right on. We did it. Do we want to try to get any of those crystals? Do, do we have anything that could get them off the wall? Melody, as you were examining a lengthy amount of time on the crystals, they would serve no purpose and have no value. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, they no purpose, no value to them. Uh, okay. I was mostly just poking around for more uh, secret walls because, uh, you know, that's how we got in there in the first place. And you didn't find any? Nope. Okay. Nope. Not a darn thing. On we go then. Oof. That was good. No resources lost, really. Oh, Minshew, what'd you get from that, uh, from that guy? Uh, I saw you rooting around in his tummy. Yeah, nothing. He, he had eaten a dragon guy. Oh, was that the scream that we heard? Anything on that dragonborn? No, it is just a digested head. Hmm. Gold Any teeth. Body of a dragonborn? We should, maybe we should be looking for a body of a dragonborn here around here. I don't huh. think there's any body left. Well, I mean these do these things do hug your your whole head and stuff. As you guys enter that cave, you see you see you see slumped in the corner, the body of a headless copper dragonborn wearing druid oh, wearing <laughs> wearing druid like clothes. Oh, let's go through his stuff. Just walks, Oh, yep. <laughs> and there we go. Stitched on his stitched on the clothes there is a name that says Rogar. Rogar. Who is a player in the first group, so it's really you don't really need to write anything down. <laughs> <laughs> And on him, though, you do see an interesting thing on him. Yeah? If I can remember what... Yeah. I need to pull up and remember what his equipment was. It's his magical item that he had. Boo, boo, boo. I'll let you know. In if I second. remember correctly, I think it was an alchemy jug, right? Nope. No? Not okay. for him. That was for somebody else. Ah, all right. That was another character that, I think that had the alchemy jug. Oh, okay. I watched. I watched the first part of this. Ah, he's wearing a cloak. I, watched a, I guess a. Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is sort of green. Yeah. Green, gray, and you actually see where the shoulders are. Are two long tentacles that go down to the legs, and the tentacles are eerily similar to the tentacles of Willow's Displacer Beast. Hmm. I was going to look at that. <laughs> Cloak of Displacement. What's that? Oh, geez. That sounds neat. While you wear this cloak, oh, it, pro it projects an illusion that makes you appear to be standing in place near your actual location, causing any creature to have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. If you take damage, the property ceases to function until the start of your next turn. The property is suppressed while you are incapacitated, restrained, or otherwise unable to move. It is a Cloak of Displacement on his body. I and, could use a cloak. And a pouch oh full of rotting good berries. <laughs> do I thought do good berries rot? I thought that was They do after a day. day. Oh, okay. And the, they only last for a day and then they oh, yeah, just okay. get goopy. Right. Yeah. Uh looking at his body, you can probably surmise that he's been dead a while. Probably like a couple weeks, three weeks at most. Ooh, Actually no, it'd be less than that. Yeah, no, three weeks. Three weeks. He's been dead three weeks. You might want to be careful with that cloak, because um, Willow seemed to like Displacer Beasts. I don't know if she would care. We didn't kill it. I know. But I don't know if she can see in this part of the... You know, I don't know. I don't know. I just might want to be careful. Might maybe don't go into her house wearing it. Yeah. Uh, 
did you wanna did you wanna Good night. wear this puppy? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We I you mean, will need to everything it, gets to I'm you will need to attune to it, yes. Displace yeah. cloak. Yes, cloak of displacement. I pretty, to, I, I pretty much try to stay out of uh stay out of harm's way anyway. Things don't get too many strikes on me. But I imagine it would get the most use being on your shoulders. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Don't put the half digested skull on the body. Okay. Nice. Nice. The spirit just goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, now it can uh, go on to the to the next realm. Yeah, you put the half. You, you put the. You put the. So funny enough, huh? It wouldn't really be half digested because resistant to acid damage, so it'd be more just half rotted in the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have given it such a stomach ache. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No ass. Yeah. <laughs> Get indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you get the cloak of displacement. You put Rogar's head back on his body. There it is. As uh, yeah, I feel good about this. I think we made the right choice. His body animates and attacks. No. <laughs> <laughs> we cut his head off again. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Okay. All right. Shall we? Uh, shall we move on then? Looked like there was a. Uh, there was another pass. Uh, still just north of. Uh, north of uh, Willow's Keep. Um. Yeah, we could try that. Like it's over here. <laughs> Yeah, over. Right, so. so yeah, yeah, you guys can take the time to <laughs> walk over. Just teleports. <laughs> yeah, you guys can take the time to walk back to where you were. And as you get outside, as you can look up and see the sky, because there is a sky in here. Mm. And it. Sky? And by the way, I forgot to mention, you actually don't see the walls of the dungeon. It just appears like just endless forest. Oh, cool. I had to do some extra reading. Uh, I had to do some extra reading. Well, to you, it looks real. Um, mm. And the sky right now looks like it might be dusk. Almost nighttime. Are we feeling sleepy? Has nope. It been... Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Logan's gonna wear the cloak of displacement until he's attuned to. It. All right. Well, even if uh, we haven't really been up long enough for a rest, we might need to have shelter for the night. Mm. Okay. Um. So, I imagine if we... Hmm? Be careful and remember we can't start a fire. Right, right. Right. I was That's thinking right. more along the lines of a... Uh, Is that a my tower. favorite? Oh, no, that's my favorite. Well, it still does. You guys could probably still have a couple hours before nightfall. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm keeping on moving. I'm just talking while we walk. Uh, seeing if there's any berries or any other little flora on the way. Oh, I'm yeah. I'll, up. I'll yeah, pick flowers. Picking berries as well. All right. All right. Uh, and as you guys move forward, however, death. Oh, yay. Um, the forest you guys enter, remember, this is also a very, very thick forest. But this forest, you see various statues of birds and mammals in this area of the woods. Various statues. So, statue and statue. You can see statues like through the woods, like through the dense trees. You can see where statues are. Hmm. Interesting. Statues. Why would they be there? Are these uh, carved wooden statues or stone statues? They're stone. How uh, how well crafted are they? 
very well crafted. They're covered in moss and vines and. Oh. That it looks like a statue of a black bear. Mid walk, kind of just walking. Just gonna walk all around it. Oh, get over there. Just stand on it. Are they posed in any particular way or just kind of standing there? Some are posed, some are just standing. Like they don't look like they're surprised or anything like that? No. 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 Okay. Like Medusa got. There. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You can hear the sound of water, like a, a stream running in the south. Just a gentle trickling of a stream. Or a river, rather. Relaxing. If we uh if we have a look up north, do we can we see anything? Or is it too thick? It basically just like it gets to the point where the walls are just really thick for us so you can't get squeezed through. Hmm. Okay. But more statues. Alright. I'm gonna I'll I'll take Cobb out, invisible, send her up a bit to look into the trees. Looking in, right looking into the trees, you just see dense trees. Okay, which wh where wh which way are we thinking of going? Oh, uh, so right, right now we're South? just kind of poking around. This seems to be more of a Willow's domain here. Uh, she never mentioned going this direction or what was in this direction. She just said what was south and east. So uh, be extra careful. Um, hopefully we're not poking around where we shouldn't be, but, uh, because she never mentioned this, but, uh, you know, in case we are, be very respectful. Okay. Uh, I'll s send Cobb south. How far? Uh, what's the range? Let me look. I think it's, a, yeah, I think it's something like that. I'll send, I'll send her until... She, uh, again, until she finds something interesting or runs out of, you know, movement. So I, okay. I think I, I... So what's this statue? So she sees the riverbank. Oh, okay. as, as you flash through the tree, she just sees the riverbank and then the sound of trickling water. Um, that okay. statue, All Elgin, right. is a deer. Okay. Okay, I'll pop her back to, back to me. Okay. Um, and what's this statue? <laughs> he just oh. likes these things. Ogden, as you approach that, <laughs> the statue of that elk, give me a stealth check. Oh. <laughs> Actually, right. no, don't. don't. Excellent. Ogden, you see something looking through you from at the bo through the dense trees, and I need you to give me a constitution saving throw as these pair of glowing yellow eyes look right at you. Shit. Con save. Okay. Oh! Someone attacked first. 18. You succeed. But there is a creature looking at you in this area with glowing yellow eyes. I don't know if that counts as an attack. Hmm. He's ready with his axe, and he's going to move a little closer. All right. Everybody roll initiative. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ah! Not good. <laughs> Basilisk. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Sorry, I called that out. I didn't mean to. It's all right. I mean, I did, but I, I was, yeah. Nobody would know what one is. Recognize it. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually intimately know any of its stats either. I just. All right. Recognize its face. Or... Melody. Right. Initiative. What'd you get? Melody. A Twelve. Hagen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Menchu. 30, 20. Riley. 11. And just so you know, Ogden, you are not attuned yet to that cloak. Right, here you go. Menchu, it's your turn, buddy, right away. You, you don't know the location of the creature, you just see a, you just see Ogden kind of take the axe out and just ready himself where he is. Um, so I don't know where it's at. Uh, um, because you can't really see, you can't, you guys can't see it through the thick trees. You can, you can just make out Ogden's shape, but that's about it. 
All right, so I'm just going to be following Ogden. I'm going to move up 30 and hold action for a hostile creature, hold an attack for a hostile creature. Sure. Ogden, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Fourteen. Fourteen. That succeeds. You may continue your turn. I'm just going to uh, stand ready in case it attacks me. Okay. Are you going to uh, with my battle axe yeah, or war, whatever yeah. it is? It's its turn then. It is going to move ten feet. Put him in range. It does. So you can make it. You can. Has it attacked yet? It's going to make an attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Looks like it's I, attacking I, me. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Berserker great axe. Uh, dirty twenty. That hits. Roll damage. Uh, are we hearing? Uh, Ogden. You would hear him swing the axe, yeah. Uh, 13, to hit, 13 damage? 13 damage, yeah. Okay. Arr, you hear that. Excellent. You slam your axe. Oh, actually, it's, it's a little, the token is a little too big, but it still moves like that. It's the same size. It's basically the same size as, uh, you know. All right, it's going to retaliate and go to bite you on the arm. <sighs> Fuck, natural one. So it goes to bite, but you just like whack it in the face with your axe handle. Okay. Melody. You can hear the sounds of Ogden like swinging his axe at something. Alright. I'm gonna move there. Can I see it yet? Uh, it's still pretty obscured from tree by trees, and so you basically like you might have to get out onto the bank where Ogden is to engage with it. Um, hmm. Like you can see, it's like outline and stuff, but there's no way you can get a clear shot at it from where you guys are. Can I see Ogden? You can see Ogden, but again, just a little bit of him, like a shoulder. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh all right. Um uh <laughs> sorry again. Uh this is just uh too fun. Uh Melody is gonna uh take a puff on his pipe and then you see the smoke come from your backside and start to surround you and you feel like your muscles swelling and uh but your arms shrinking <laughs> and uh oh god <laughs> you become a tyrannosaurus rex yeah i do hell yeah Bob? yes Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> I need to see its size. I believe it's huge. It is huge. Yeah. That is so dope. Oh, man. That's great. <laughs> so you do right here. Bacon fights. So you guys just see Ogden turn into a Tyrannosaurus, and the trees just get, like, displaced. Can I see that from where I am? Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Menchu can. All the trees that were blocking Menchu's sight with his crossbow and everything just kind of... <laughs> and now a giant T-Rex is in the way. You can't see the basilisk. <laughs> but uh, anything else, Melody? Uh, let's see. What can we do? Um, uh, Melody is gonna, uh, 
yeah, he'll move a little bit closer, but stay put himself between this thing and uh, the T Rex there. <laughs> okay, Riley, it's your turn. Okay, um, I am going to dash because I am out of <laughs> out of range. Uh, so that was that's twenty five. 5, 10, 15, 20. So let's see. Oh, what? Mm. Ah. Sorry, I can't get it to go in. I, I can't get it to not snap. How do I get it to not snap? Alt. Alt. Okay. Oh. Okay, now it's being weird. But you guys, yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Sorry, my computer's doing something strange with it. Oh. If it's just, just further, I, further it's supposed to be here. Um, my computer doesn't want to do it for some reason. Just move ten foot squares. <laughs> there we go. I think that was where it was. Yeah. Um, and out of uh, using context clues, like where everyone's looking, could I tell that Ogden is the, um, the the T Rex, or would I not realize because I didn't see it? It him change. You would see like Melody, yeah, like, I... kind of behind the T Rex, yeah, and yeah. the T Rex facing something else. Okay, but you just so, can't. You can't see. You can't see what the... you might be able to. Okay, I can't see the creature, but I can tell that he's yes. not T Rex. Okay, that's all I need to know. Um, and that was my that was my action and my movement. So yep. uh, that's everything. Okay. Menchu. Uh, I'm going to use going to come out 15, 20 feet, whatever. Uh, hide behind. And I guess I kind of saw the transfer, kind of saw the transformation. Yes. I'm not, not going to shoot him just yet, but I'm going to hold the action for whatever he's fighting. Okay. Hogan, you are now a T-Rex. Are you to attack? Yep. You got the stats all up and everything for it? Yep. Cool. Um, 13 to hit. Sorry, I rolled a 3. 13 to hit? That does not hit. You go to bite at it, you just, but you're not used to being a T-Rex. And you kind of just like bite into a tree and pull a tree out of the ground and toss it to the side. Don't say that, so Justin. Like that's breaking, that's breaking one of our rules, isn't it? What? It's, says the Tyrannosaurus. The, the, like we, you, well, he's already knocked some trees down. Yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> but the, I don't know, that. Okay. Well, when you when you when you turn into a T Rex, I, I just don't. Like, I know, but when you turn, when want you I know, coming at us. With I know. A, I'm just saying, when you turn into the T Rex, our trees got displaced and knocked that's over. Fine. So, well, all right. I think that's a bit different than you know biting and tearing a tree out of the. Fine. Ground. He bites into the ground. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just. I'm still, but man. still, the trees did get knocked over and displaced when you polymorphed. Okay. But uh, so yeah, that's a miss. And unfortunately, T Rex can't make multi attack against one target. What? It can't. It can't make a multi attack against the same target. Oh, gotcha. Cool. That's cool. All right. That's it. Makes sense. All right. Uh, the T Rex needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Seventeen. Success. It, it's still gonna bite the T Rex though, like at the ankle. Do I still go berserk? No. Okay. So it's gonna bite your ankle. Ow. Uh, oh yeah, that'll hit. Um. Yep, yeah, thirteen to hit. Yep, that hits. Cool. So the T Rex takes ten piercing damage and nine poison damage. And that's the Basilisk's turn, so it's Melody's turn. Uh, if Melody moves 
15 feet this way. Can you see it? Yes. Pew, pew, pew. Ray of Frost. Okay, make an attack roll. Yeah. Ooh, that's not bad. All right. Yeah. That's a 26 to hit. That hits. Also, I'm reading the rules on something right here for the Basilisk. As you do shoot your Ray of yeah. Frost, I do need you to make a con save. All right. Okay. Uh, before I roll damage or after? We'll say after. Okay. I'll roll damage. So nine cold damage. And con save is... Ooh, another... Yeah, that's good. That's uh, 19 total for con save. All right, cool. Anything else? Uh, would Melody have gone, uh, like, like, would have felt like something crazy is about to happen? Like, feeling the con save thing? Like, would he understand that that was bad? Sure. Uh, okay, then he is going to move back and be like, don't look that thing in the eyes. <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Uh, uh, and seeing Riley coming up from behind him, he's like, "Big guy's Ogden," <laughs> and he'll point. Okay. Uh, she wouldn't see you. She'd basically see your arm flapping around. Okay. But she, but she could hear. Yes. But it's yeah. again, the forest does make this it quite difficult to speak. So you just hear. Right. Oh. Yeah. I right. have to use verbal communication, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, Riley. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, that's actually. Uh, okay. Is this a free space, this tree trunk? Or is there like a tree there? No, there's definitely a tree there. Okay. It's a tree stump. You can get on top of the stump, but yeah. Okay. Um, but if I, if I go here, can I see it? Can I see him? Yes. Okay. Is that... But you do need to make a con save, though. Right, right, as soon as I... Mm -hmm. Okay. I did warn her about the... I know. Not looking at any eyes. I, okay. I need to see it to be able to do anything. Okay, that is... Um, fuck. That... That is a 12. Success. Okay, good. That's um, just what I'm you needed. Going... Oh. oh, okay, perfect. Um, I am going to hit it with my um, wa my wand of paralysis. Okay, what's the saving throw on that? It's, it's, it's a 15, con 15, 60 feet radius, or, uh, range. Uh, it got a 17. Shit, okay. And then I look away. I need to look at something real quick, okay? Okay. So I guess I'll use one of the charges there. Uh, I appreciate it. Surprise. You, have, you can only avert your eyes at the start of your turn, so you can't do it right now. Okay. It's only at the start of your turn. Okay. Yep. And then if you do so, you can't see it until the start of your next turn. And obviously, yeah, attacking it and if I, not being able to um, see it just is disadvantage. If yeah, but if if I do a spell where I, it says like I need to see the creature. Then you have to look at a it. Creature, yeah. I can, a creature I can see with the brain. Then you have to look at it. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. Menchu again. I go ahead. So I heard him call that out. So now I'm feeling confident. I want to try to. Run up Ogden's back. <laughs> Run up Ogden's back, like climb up his leg. Like jump on the tail. tail and run up to the middle of his back. Acro he is a little goblin. Acrobatics check. <laughs> yeah, do it, buddy. Let's see. I got a plus five there. Oh, ten. <laughs> Uh, you go to jump at the tail, but it's a little too high up, and 
you, t you don't grab onto the tail. Right, you grab onto the tail with your hands, but you don't have enough to pull yourself up on the tail, so you're currently just dangling from the tail. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you use half movement to pull yourself up onto the tail. Alright, uh, I guess I'm on his lower back, man. If you use half movement to pull yourself up. Yeah, I figure I used half my movement getting to him. So half movement again. Yes, yeah, so you're at, you're basically at the middle of his tail. Right. Um, just for flavor, that that's, that's my turn. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to balance. Okay. Ogden, you feel someone very tiny jump on your tail. Ogden turns around to look, sees it's Minchu, turns back, and bites at the basilisk. Cool. Constitution saving throw. Okay. Eight plus four. No, oh, I have way more than four. Seven. Fifteen. Oh, you're using the you're, you're using the T Rex's con, because you are the T Rex, yeah. Uh, oh, four. Okay, uh, twelve. That's just what you needed. Okay. So make that make make that bite attack. Sixteen. That hits. Roll damage. Because oh, this giant T Rex maw just. Right. Forty twelve plus seven. Twenty four. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it is grappled in your jaws. Uh, 12, 17, 24, 35, plus 7, 42. <laughs> As you bite into the bass, you pick it up, start shaking it around like a rag doll, and it just breaks right. apart and just rains down on the forest ground like with just blood and meat chunks and the basilisk is dead oh. <laughs> much louder than normal <laughs> nice uh, he turns and nods to melody <laughs> I don't know if we should be yeah. celebrating uh, that's not good I don't think. <laughs> well, look at look at what this thing did to all these creatures around us. I yeah. Should probably thank true. us, right? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, scavenge some bits of this thing. Uh, let's not waste it. We could probably scavenge some bits of it and uh, bring it back to her and let her know what, we, what we've got, what we've done. <laughs> yeah. This thing's probably got some. I mean, it seemed like some type of magical creature. Perhaps we can scavenge some it food from its pet. body. A. Never mind. Could you hear a voice in your head? Is all, all. Melody, you hear a voice in your head. <laughs> yeah. I advise you turn your friend back as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I will give you that one and not again. All right. Uh, is this is this because uh, some of the the trees were displaced and uh, whatnot? Yes. Okay. Not because we uh, destroyed this uh, creature. No more responses. Yeah. All right. Uh, he turns Ogden back. I try my best to hold on and land on Ogden's shoulders. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you barely notices. You're draped around your shoulders like a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> did did only only Melody heard the voice? Yes. You were talking to someone. Yeah, yeah. Willow uh, beamed a beamed a thought into my head. Uh, so I got to avoid using that very powerful uh, transformation because it mm -hmm. displaces some of the trees in the area. Um, yeah, it's an. She it, said she said she'd give us a pass this once. Um, so you know, she seems very kind. Well, yeah, I said, yeah. Perhaps I was a bit so overzealous. Powerful. 
but I definitely wanted to try that one out. I read about I... them things in some books and uh, really enjoyed seeing one. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a creature like that before. It was, it was pretty cool. That was Augen, fun. Wasn't... Yeah, you liked it, Augen? That was well, fun. I, I think it suits you. Being all <laughs> giant like that. Uh, like I'm not already. Well, gianter. Gianter, yeah, good word. And as dusk starts to fall into night, the night doesn't come and it goes back to morning. Oh. Huh. I don't suppose uh, anything happens with my um, nope. wand? Nope. Nope. Yeah, we aren't getting any things that go back at dawn. No. Nope. All right. Excuse me. All right, so what have we got here? We got a little pond here. Can we, uh, does it look like it's, um, look like it's fresh water? Yeah, it does look like fresh water. It does? It does. Oh. Well, fill our canteen, maybe. Here we go, guys. Let's, uh, let's fill up. Fill our water skins. Uh, first, Melody will take a little sip of it first. Yeah, fresh water, relatively fresh. All right. Yep, seems all right. We all get dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look over it, and she was naked over in the water. Oh God. Taking a bath. And you also oh, see that the as river. We drink. <laughs> you also see as the river stretches out into a much bigger river. Oh boy. Oh, oh, that is much bigger. Hmm. Is it is does it, it looks pretty deep? I imagine. Yes. Yeah. We have our raft, don't we? We could drag it over here if it we need to. It broke apart into pieces. Oh, it did break apart. That's right. Did we? Uh, did we get the pieces from that basilisk? You did, but just me. Did. Just Chop me. It up. Just me. me. Any eyeballs? Nope. Can we scoop out the eyes? Nope. No. I imagine like when. When T Rex Ogden bit into it, the eyeballs just went like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like one of those yeah, boys this shot off into <laughs> God knows where. So gross. Uh, I figured Willow might like something valuable from this beast. Too bad. All right. Can we just easily cross this part? Oh, uh, you'd have to swim across. It's still like ten feet deep. Okay, but yeah, Mel that... Melody went and took a quick bath. <laughs> it's been a while. I guess it's been about as long as it has been since the uh, since the last time you put up the tower. Yeah. Well, we uh, we did swim onto shore. That's true. Mm. Melody will still go in and do a <laughs> thorough scrubbing, maybe find a little scrubbing stone. This water is clean, huh? Yes, it's very clean, unlike the rest of the water you guys have been encountering in this place. Yeah. In the dungeon entirely. And, um, have we, have we been get, uh, taking berries and stuff on the way, or...? Okay. Um, he was basically eating them as he picked them. Up. Okay. <laughs> Are there berry Mel bushes and things nearby? Melody's been trying yeah. to scavenge as much as he can in that regard because he's looking to. We'll say you all have gathered. We'll say you guys have gathered like fifteen berries each. Okay. They won't heal you by any means if you eat them. They're just yeah. That's not what we're talking. About. No, They're no. For rations and everything. For rations. Yeah. Like, How many? Uh, in order to simplify it. Can we just add like certain day of rations, or just like one or two days of rations? Well, the berries wouldn't be enough for a couple. Would be wouldn't be enough for days worth. Like one day, then. Maybe yeah, if you can live off eating fifteen berries, <laughs> yeah. So just like a day's worth of rations. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll get eight his days worth of rations. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that Melody has no rations right now, so he's he's pretty much eating what he can. 
I got plenty because I just got here. (laughs) 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 I'm having a really good day. All All right. Let's keep it on moving. Okay. Picking flowers as we go. All right, you guys keep moving, and you just see the river keeps going. Oh, are those uh, in between the pillars or whatever? Is that a way? It's a walkway up atop. Up top. Yeah, it's look like a shadow. It's of a, a it's a, it's a shadow of a walkway. Yeah, you can walk underneath it. You know, if we no, oh, continue. Oh, sorry. I was going to ask. Is this another sign? Yeah, it's still. It says the same thing, to the Underdark, and it points. Wait. Oh, this way. Er, 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 points this way. Cool. To the left, basically. Well, where you guys are, would be facing the river to your right, but on the screen, it's to the left. Would be. It says to the Underdark. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I imagine the river is flowing this way. Yes. Oh, so we got to go back. Well, it's not like a super strong current. Well, we probably can't oh, just tread go? through this, up, no. right? It's pretty deep. It's like sixty yeah. feet. Yeah, we. Yeah, that's that's a no go. We especially don't know what kind of creatures are in there. So we'll just make our way back. As you are walking back, though, something walks into the clearing where you guys uh, are right wait. now. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move all your tokens back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> to where they were. Oh, no. Ish. Okay. Nope. Wrong one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you see, coming out of like a some bushes, like on the bank of the river, is a large brown bear, like a grizzly bear. Ooh. Easy there, buddy. Easy. And it doesn't notice you guys yet. It's like currently just like sniffing around, like. And it looks up in your direction and it sees all of you. Easy. Yeah, just start to Easy. back up a little bit. Mm. Yep. Melody's backing up. Yeah, same. It approaches a little bit. Moves about 10 feet closer. And just. Yep. Hi, bud. All right. Um... Hey. How's it going? It sniffs just. Um, I, can All I right. give it some of my berries? Not like give it but like just kind of put them out Uh-oh. you may certainly yeah. try i'm just i'm just putting my hand out i'm not like shoving it in its face or anything give me an animal handling check okay <laughs> 13 uh, is that right yes Stands up on its hind legs. So now it's standing about 10 feet tall. And it just kind of looks down at you and just goes. She's so tiny. And then drops back down on all its four legs, sniffs your berries uninterested, and walks away. Okay. And goes to the river to start catching fish. Well, that was something. Yeah, wow. That was like, that guy's uh, probably about four of you. Stacked on top of each other. Yeah, but I think he's a lovable creature. Yeah, that was that doesn't was seem bad. That no, was nice. Um, a story to let's, tell. Let's make our way around. Yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't have any. Or he or she doesn't have any cubs. If it's a mama bear. That would not be good. Well, then let's keep an eye out <laughs> for any cubs and try to steer clear of them as well. So where are you guys headed? Back up north. I mean, we don't really have too many smart options other than to backtrack. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
You guys keep walking. Nothing of nothing of nothing of interest happens. Just trudging through this forest. You can see Willow's Tower again. Those bats still sleepy? I know that uh, oh, yeah. night kind of came and went. They're still sleeping. Interesting. <laughs> I will uh, uh, leave some of the basilisk bits at the front door like a cat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a almost like tithing, you know, just kind of giving back mm -hmm. as like to respectfully uh, pay for passage and whatnot, and hopefully curry some type of favor because it seemed to not uh, appreciate the rest of the life in the in the glade. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put one of my flowers on top just to make it a little prettier. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well done. You do notice, as you've been picking flowers, you, you have not seen any roses. Oh, I, I assume not. I feel like... Did we see any fancy. by the... Uh, did we see any by the grave? No, none at all. Okay. No roses. Okay. Huh, interesting. I assumed they were just like little daisy things, like little like weed like flowers. <laughs> but what I'll keep that in mind. Like? They just look like little alcoves, nothing really of import. Actually, sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> Actually, uh, there's another basilisk. <laughs> four deep alcoves, each roughly 10 feet wide and 15 feet tall, line the cavern wall. <laughs> Strewn about them are the skeletal remains of 60 or so humans clad in rotting clothes and furs. Nothing of value is in the corpses, but there are 60 of them, just in total. D divided between all four? Yeah, just piled up and rotting. And mass graves. Nice. Alright. Well, maybe they had an epidemic. Some maybe kind. maybe uh, Willow likes to keep this place clean. Well, maybe. She seemed nice, though. So yeah. I, I think it's probably... I don't know. We'll see. She seemed dangerous. That's true. Oh, people can be nice and dangerous. Yeah. Like me. Yeah. Like, me. like us. you. Right. Yeah, like, like us. us. Also, as you guys are walking now, this part of the forest <laughs> is much more dense. Like, dense, dense, dense. Like, far more dense than any of the other forests. Like, you guys have you guys have to, like, push through, like, stuff to get through. Um, the forest is strewn with rusty weapons, burnt torch stubs, empty bottles, and other worthless paraphernalia. Eerie totems hang from the trees, made from twigs, feathers, and tattered bits of cloth. They look like crude dolls. <laughs> Each of the dolls have like different appearances. Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Hey. Oh. One of the dolls looks like Spooky. one of the dolls looks like that dragonborn that was in the uh oh, no. <laughs> does, does that doll have its head? Yes. Okay. She said oh. there were goblins this way. Yeah. Uh do we, I thought that was more towards. I thought that was more towards the east. We're still heading south from the her her place, but yeah, we are so slightly not, going east, yeah, so you long. might be right. I'm yeah. a little worried about going in this direction. Well, it looks like the only direction we got. I, Either I that suppose. or go straight east. You know. Right. By the way. Like out of game, uh, I am liking this open map a lot better than the yeah <laughs> the narrow corridors yeah. everywhere. Yeah, for sure. This is really nice. Don't get it used to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I want to stay here. <laughs> Melody wants to stay here. <laughs> Come on. Which way do you want to go, guys? 
I don't know. Was this a tunnel? Is this a tunnel? It looks like right a here. tunnel. Guys, there's a tunnel here. Oh, okay. Is this worth... Do you guys want to investigate the tunnel? Melody, looking down that tunnel... Yeah. It looks like a creature dug it out. But, oh. like, a very, very, very long time ago. What... How big are the claws? We said they were claws. Well, I mean, how big are the... You said something dug it out. It looks like yeah, someone no. dug it out, so... How big are the things that were used to claw it out? Five feet. I mean, uh, like... Are you saying, like, <laughs> the... They're, like, five foot wide? Like huge, gigantic things. Or it looks what, more like it, look, it looks more like burrowing, not clawing. And you don't really see any indication of something clawing. It's more of just moving forward through it. Hmm. Like a worm. Hmm. Anyway, Is it I'm trying to figure out? Like there's there are there are bits of like busted up. Rock like a worm wouldn't bust through rock. Yeah. Is there anything in in this one? If I no, no, just an alcove. Okay, but it does it look the same as as does it look dug out the same way that this one does? No, no. Okay. So there's nothing to really indicate. Um, you like do see what this was carved out with. No, but you do see it seems to slope down a little bit and go into darkness. Hmm. Well, that looks really ominous, and we'd be going into single file again. Um, you know, I'm not inclined to do that, but I am curious. Uh, Wait, which direction did she say the next level was? Um, to the south, to the south, and south, to the so, east. So that is that what this is? There's two directions. Should you either go south oh. or go east? Okay. That one one good. leads to level six, one leads to level seven, is what she said. I think right. that might be this. Who knows? I mean, this, <laughs> this right here could be anything. Uh, could be. Could be something's it home. Could be, it could be a beast's home, in which case, if we disturb it and attack it first, then we would be uh, breaking the treaty that I, we currently uh, have going. I could send Cobb in. To check for creatures. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, is it, it wait? Is it very have dark? dark vision? No. Yeah, it's real dark. <laughs> it's yeah, not. It's not that dark. Lights. That lights dark? getting in through it. Yeah. Okay, I'll. I will. Send but it's Cobb it's in. dark at the end of it. Okay, I'll send Cobb in yeah. invisible until she can't see very well anymore. So. Okay, she goes in. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's moved through here in a while. In a while. And there's it, it slopes downwards into darkness. Okay. All right. Um, I'll uh. I'll so I'll I, have... take, I take her back. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Th it looks like there's nothing in there, but she didn't go in all the way because she doesn't see very far ahead. But th nothing immediate. Hmm. I'll send Willie in. Willie's got okay. uh, Willie's got a good sense of smell on him. Okay. Okay. You send Willie in. Uh, and I'll have since Willie does not have it's not invisible. I will try to do it stealthily. Sure. I'm just gonna send him send him in and look through his eyes. Okay. Willie gets in. Doesn't he just sees the same thing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just uh, what's he got for? Because he has he has keen hearing and smell advantage on perception. Doesn't hear, doesn't smell anything. Smell. We'll just keep moving along the wall and further just, south. Yeah, just sees the same just thing. Smelling. Dark yeah. passage that descends south. Yeah, he'll just keep hugging that that wall until he gets to the edge of uh, Melody's range, <laughs> which I think is 120. Okay. Goes down this dark slope and the slope keeps going. Oh, all the way 120 feet? Yeah. Alright. Um, I guess I'll have Willie come back. 
Okay. Well, definitely looks like that might be the way down to the next level. If you guys are done with this place, might, might be we're just going down. I am still quite curious. There is a dragon. I, I'm really torn on whether we should have a conversation with the dragon or not. It would be, it's on my bucket list in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Survive a chat with the dragon. <laughs> I follow you. Is there is there something we could maybe offer it so that it doesn't immediately think we're we're bad? I'm a little worried uh, we go there and it immediately. Well, w what I would be concerned about is that uh, dragons might be uh, at least. What? Well, how much would uh, Melody know about dragons? You all would know. Like you would all know quite a lot about dragons because this is the Forgotten Realm setting and dragons are pretty common. Also. Willow did say to show the dragon respect. Yeah. Uh, I would be concerned that showing the dragon respect might entail us having to give it, give up some either gold or magical items if we uh, make it apparent that we have such things on us. Okay. That's what but, I'd be concerned about, is that so we have to part with something. Right. Because it would, you know... Yeah. Dragons can sometimes be uh, quite greedy. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm second about let's let's try and avoid where try to that avoid dragon that? might be. Yeah. Okay, I, I think it's probably best if we stay. As much as I think this place is really nice, uh, there's always the fear that if we get in a fight, uh, we could do something bad. And a lot of my spells are things that would hurt. The general vicinity so uh that, yeah a lot of things look at me and just want to fight me yeah all right will dragon oh dragon dragon or tunnel. which way we want what to what about those um arches are those in this in this forest uh, she, 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 say? she, she just she, said that there was one to the south and one to the east i believe those right. that's not what she was talking about that's oh, okay. down to the next levels. She just she never said where the arches were. She just said um. She just said what they looked like. How to get what through them. How to get through them if you if find, we them. find them. Yeah. If we find them. I would be cool to figure out what what's what's in all of those arches. Whether there would be yeah. something interesting in them. I wouldn't uh, mind going to that dwarf, <laughs> the, the the dancing dwarf one. It sounds be entertaining. <laughs> no, that could be most humorous. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, I'm kind of sold on uh, exploring a little bit more, though. I mean, the mm. Justin would would we know if we go further? Like, if this ends up being the way to the next level, um, would we be able to be like, oh, we are starting to go down to the next level, and then turn back? Can yes. We do that, or would we? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's check this place out. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if we'd all if like. It would yeah. just be like immediate. Yeah. Oh, guess Are what? Are you guys going first? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I actually, yeah. Shit. You should probably go before me. Yeah. Me too. Thanks, buddy. All right, so. Just checking. Uh, maybe you might want to go first. You, no. got, uh, you got a light? Who's got a light? Yep. Out comes the drift globe. So you move forward and you can see the darkness and 150 feet down, back, more darkness in the shadow that is Augen. So this is the end? Yep. Is there any kind of magic arch? Nope. Just, oh, a, just here. a dead end. Just a long corridor going down. Last time there was a dead end when uh, Melody touched it, it went no. through. There is no dead end. It's a it's just a long oh. corridor going down. Oh, sorry. I thought you said it was oh, a dead end. No. So this, this, I mean... There, it's not drawn on the map. It's just that's where it is. Okay. So I'm inclined to think that this would take us down to the next. Uh, that would make sense. Level, then. That would make sense for what she told us. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. Checks out. All right. <laughs> so we're going other way. Yeah. If we come across okay. any trouble, we'll just beeline it here and <laughs> run our asses off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, uh, I don't know if I mentioned Cobb's gone. Cobb, Cobb's yep. in. Yeah. 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 Okay, you guys do not go down to the next level. 
we would like to explore, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be explore. more of this pretty place. I would like I would like to soak in this scenery a little bit more. <laughs> Actually, if we are going east, then I will I will send Cobb out ahead. Yeah. yeah. We're going we're going staying as much south as possible. As much south. So yeah, I'll I'll we send definitely do not want to go any bit east as uh, yeah, I'll send her kind of this direction. All right. Okay. So um, then you guys all start moving. She doesn't see anything. She just sees dense forest. Okay. And she's invisible. Mm hmm. Just dense, uh, dense, dense. What's going forest. on here? Okay. Just art. Just okay. art. Yep. Yeah. All right. You guys do see a building in the distance, though. Oh, where? Moving quick here. We got this is dense forest. We don't want to lose sight. <laughs> what do we got? Eh. Look, guys, there's a wall. It's actually a door. <laughs> the door's in a wall. Um, <laughs> a wall is. <in. laughs> yeah, but you see a door. See a door. <laughs> a gray door. Yeah, I can see it. Approaches but does not touch. Okay, you hear the sounds of bats chirping. Like, <gasps> oh, it's the bats. Regular sized yeah. bats or more giant bats? They sound like big bats, but they. She talked. She talked about the bats. <laughs> Should maybe you not come here? <laughs> Wait, what was that, Riley? Oh, she, she mentioned the bats, and she said we should probably avoid them. Those were her bats at the, her place, though, weren't they? Oh, and she also said there was bats south, I think. Uh -huh. I don't remember that. Yeah. Ah, oh. so, so we'll just avoid this, uh, yeah. this building, then. Yeah, I'd we'll go keep maybe. going south. Oh. We avoid a lot of things, don't we? <laughs> Everybody make stealth yeah. checks as you start moving forward, please. Yeah, all right. Dang it. Should I make one for uh, Cobb since? Yep. Okay. Um, what is my stealth? I got 15. Okay, Augen. Not 20 plus 2. Melody. 8. Okay. Riley and Cobb. Stealthy. 11, and I'm working on Cobb. It'll be uh, Dex, just Dex modifier. Just Dex for Cobb? If there's no plus something to stealth, then. Oh, but I roll still, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, but wouldn't it be um because she's uh, uh invisible? Wouldn't that be a advantage? Uh, it's not advantage, but um, uh, the sprites have a plus eight to stealth. Yeah, and this is oh, more yes. for sound, yeah. not for sight. Okay, it's it's ten for Cobb. Okay. So it was eleven, eleven for Riley, ten for Cobb. My new cloak makes me very sneaky. Okay. <laughs> like, like Ogden just. Why else would I hit twenty-two? Okay. You guys hear the sounds of the chirping and it stops. Uh oh. Oh no. That's all that happens. Okay. Um... All right. So, what are we thinking, guys? I'm not thinking. If we look up, do we see anything? Nope. Just sky. You're out of the forest now. What does oh. this door look like? Uh, a wooden door. D does the, the a sound... Doorknob? Yeah, there's a doorknob. Okay. Does the sound sound muffled like it's coming from inside? Well, there is no sound now. It stopped. Oh, right, right. That's true. Well, when there was sound, did it sound like it was coming from inside? No. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Uh, okay. Which way did it sound like it was coming from? Probably south. That's my guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In that direction? Yeah. Uh, so it's quite a bit far. Um, I think maybe we turn around. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> cool. Let's do that. I'm gonna send uh, Cobb forward. 
in this direction. Do we want okay. to uh, just dense perhaps, forest get back in that direction? Okay. Do, we, do we perhaps want to uh, check out this building? Um. Or no? I I don't know what. I'm not sure. Now that we're forced to go east, I kind of want to just leave because I don't want to. I don't want to tango with a dragon. Honestly, now that I'm, <laughs> now that we're getting closer to that <laughs> inevitability. <Fair enough. laughs> You're having the second the second thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I I kind of think that might be smart. <sighs> but it's up to you. I'll do whatever the group wants. Ogden and Menchu, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, come on, guys. Ah, oh, come on. Well, this way. You want right. to keep going? Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's go east then. Okay, I um, yeah, I'll just you know, cob ahead. But I'm I'm keeping her a little bit closer than I was just because I'm freaked out. <laughs> Maybe like like thirty feet ahead. Oh. Um... Is this like a, a path or something through? It looks different. It's a little bit of a path. The uh, building there, are there any windows? There are not. Okay. No windows. Hey guys, there's a, there's a path going north. Where's the path? Oh. oh. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah, uh, so, mm. That might, I'm wondering if that'll lead us to where the dragon is, since that would be east of where we were. Yeah, I, f I don't know. I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> this way, then? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a little bit more. Perhaps not on the path. Off the beaten path. Yeah. There uh, we go. Ambushes are usually put on paths. That is true. All right. <laughs> Dang, this place is big, this building. Yeah. You do see another building. To the northeast. Oh. Mm. Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> 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 Stairs. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Go up or down. I don't know. I'm assuming up. Mm, which way, guys? I we can keep keep uh we can probably have a good look at both before we make a decision. Better look. Just keep Just going. Keep walk around the building. Yeah, dags. As you do get closer though, on top of the building to the northeast, you see something. On the roof. Mm -hmm. Is it green? <laughs> Built atop a mount, natural mount of earth and rock is a 70 foot long, 50 foot wide, 10 foot high stone platform covered with moss and ivy. Connected to the, to the platform are two stone walkways raised atop 20 foot high marble columns. A stone bridge on the platform spans the river to the east. A mossy staircase climbs the south wall atop of the platform. There stands a 15 foot high stone building with a commanding view of the river and stone door set into its northwest and south walls. A crumbling faux battlement surrounds a flat roof, atop which sleeps a young green dragon about 10 feet long. Iridescent scales, a sword is lodged hilt deep into its skull, and you can hear it snoring just from that far away. Just... Oh no! Oh, you got, got a sword? It's got a sword in its skull? And it is just sleeping. You can hear it oh, like God. the dragon's like. So it's clearly alive. 
I guess. Let's go. Talk to the dragon, guys. You know uh, no, I don't. I mean, if it weren't sleeping and perhaps it noticed us, I'd say yes, but I don't want to wake a sleeping dragon. <laughs> it moves a little bit. Oh. Even though it's not super, it's not even that far away. It just kind of, it just moves a little bit. Yeah, no. Cobb's gone. Oh, oh, <laughs> Bye, Cobb. I want, I want to look uh, oh, no. other stuff. Ogden, where are you going, buddy? You're beelining it. It's eye. Dragon. One of its eyes. Why are you doing this, man? <laughs> opens. It tilts its head towards Ogden, its wings, and it lifts off the tower. Ogden, what are you doing? <laughs> and it oh, lands man. in front of Ogden. Oh. Greetings, dragon. Hi. And it is only a young dragon, so it's not super big. Uh, not much bigger than Ogden. But it lands in front of Ogden, just poof, And it sees Greetings. all of you. Hi. hi. It's not, not going to reply. Hello. Hi. Oh, are, wait. are you okay? I am fine. What's with the sword in your head? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Amicus? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Why have you come this deep into the willow wood? We, we just wanted to say hi. Yeah. Mm. Ex explorers. We Why? have heard... We have good heard great tales of your magnificence, uh, and could not resist the uh, the call to gaze upon you. If you have heard great to call tales of my magnificence, what is my name? It's t yeah. uh, Tearly. No, Tearly. no, it's. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. <laughs> tear, 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 rely. Tear, rely. Tear, rely. Yes. Who told you these tales? Willow. Willow. Yeah, it was Willow. Willow. Willow uh, oh, mentioned I, that you were you were indeed a, a a creature to be respected. I know Willow. She is a friend of mine. She is most kind. Mm hmm. Yeah, very, very kind. Where are you headed? We were just kind of looking around, really. Do not yeah, trespass we... into my building. Oh, we won't. Or we were not going to do we that. Do, we don't. We don't go much into buildings. We were just enjoying the foliage. Uh. Uh. Hey. Uh, so about this um, this sword that you got in your in your your head there. Mm -hmm. um, Just so you know, the sword is has an emerald colored blade. Oh, it's it's hilt deep, but you can see a little bit of an emerald colored blade and precious gemstones embedded in its hilt and pommel. Uh, I have right here a. Uh, Would you like you me to pull it out? No. Uh, oh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Leave now. I have okay. a, uh, I have a healing potion for you. In case I do not you... need healing. Okay. Okay, we'll just go then. Bye. Okay. Doesn't move. <laughs> just staring. I just kind of back up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> God. Melody respectfully backs up. <laughs> All right, it was a uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Um, though, if you do, uh, if you would like uh, us to perhaps look into ways that we can uh, help you liberate that um, item from your head, it is you not out, being removed. Know. You will not remove it. Well, right. well, you know, if you need anything else, though, we, we're also here for, you know, we're here to help, really. But, uh, yeah, we'll just leave, if, if that's okay with you. Stay 
instead of backing up. <laughs> Back it up? No. And it just flies back to its roost. Hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ogden had just stood his ground the whole time. <laughs> like, Ogden has a wisdom of six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. You can't help people unless they want to be helped. He does that was uh, helped. That was terrifying. Let's not do that, that again. That was oh. cool. A dragon. We talked to a dragon. He seemed we pretty did. reasonable. And guess what? We're still alive. We are yeah. still alive. Bucket list. Melody will physically pull out one of his <laughs> books and go, there it is. Cross right it off. Off. Look at that. And as you guys walk away from the young green dragon back into the f dense forest, that's where we're going to end the session for the week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No. Oh, oh God! <laughs> you just discovered a wyvern. You've got to hit us with. Yeah, no, that's what we're gonna have the session for the week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, to trick us. So he's the, about he's about to reveal that 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 dragon has is bipolar because of his. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> thank you for watching tonight, everybody. Yeah. Danny, get to see a dragon fight, everybody. Yeah. Sorry, we, we, okay, our group, we are a bit too cautious we are uh, very for, it cautious. To be, for it to be uh, <laughs> the, that type of entertaining. We're going for a different type. <laughs> That's the plan. Either way, everybody, we, want to fight everything. <laughs> we will be back in about an hour or so for Beneath the Tide. I'm certain to uh, I'm certain to grasp that uh, this adventure, um, that the dungeon of the Mad Mage, you pretty much have to fight big things in order to get the big loot. <laughs> <laughs> we could have took him. No, it's not that big. He's only ten feet. He's I'm only... on character four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think. I don't, I don't, but I don't know. We, you we, come back. we had uh, like any type of. You guys go to sleep. I'm going to run back in the middle of the night. Yeah. Single handedly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching, okay. everybody. We'll be back with this next week to see what happens in the Willow Wood. Until then, have a good night. <laughs> Be friendly to dragons if you encounter them. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see you all in about an hour or so for the continuation of Beneath the Tide, episode 34 of that one. So, uh, good night, everybody. Good night.